Hey everybody, welcome to the weekly Team Set It Off call. Thank you so much if you're watching live. And sorry for the delay. I had a last minute sub opportunity to help out a boss. Um, so before I take my 21 days of ultimate resetting, I decided to go and teach a class really quick. So that's why I got an eyelash dangling right now. Um, but in all seriousness, welcome to the team call. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're watching the replay, as always, it's always really helpful to know if you watch the replay. So please holler at your girl, let me know. Um, but let me do the screen share and we'll get right to the meat and potatoes. This one is short and sweet and to the point. So hopefully some of it, some of you are going to be like poking your eyeballs out because you've heard it the same thing like a gajillion times, but I hope I can deliver it in just a different way that'll make you, you know, take some action. So the topic of today, ending September strong. It is the 27th out of the 30 days that are in this month. Um, and the biggest reason why I wanted to end strong rather than starting to focus on planning October is because September's not over, right? Like there's still the rest of this week. And so if we just start going, well, you know, we'll just, we'll just, you know, start strong in October, um, we'd be defeating the purpose and we could be doing the things to get us to have a successful October. Um, so that we're not feeling like for those of us that are at the end of this month, like scraping by, like, you know, on the sidewalk with a sign, like, you want a challenge pack? You want a challenge pack? Who wants a challenge pack? Right? Where you're like, Miss Little Desperate, <laughs> trying to get up your success club points. And so that we can um, hopefully give each other some good points and some good takeaways um, so that in October we won't be faced with the same problem because if you guys don't remember, um, I'm sure you do, you know that November 1st, Core de Force comes out. And so there's going to be a sneak peek later in October. So, you know, the conversations that we're having now and the people that are telling you no right now are amazing seeds to be planted that could blossom for this big launch. The power of novelty is huge. And anytime you're a part of a new program launch, it's a big freaking deal because you can leverage that and, and be like, I'm doing it for the first time. We're all doing it for the first time. Blah, 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 blah. So as always, we want to recognize everybody that is doing work um, because it's important to recognize it. And this is such a special and amazing thing that I don't think we celebrate enough. And so if you guys were on it last month, those of us that hit Success Club in August got a special call with our, uh, one of the most successful coaches in the Team Set It Off downline, Crystal Alexander. Um, and she gave us some really good takeaways. And so next month, everyone that hits it for the rest of this month, we're gonna we're just gonna keep having special exclusive calls where I'm gonna try to bring in people to really give us the nitty gritty for those of us that are pushing our businesses forward. Um, because for those that are not hitting Success Club, it does you no good to just keep piling on information if you never take action. So those exclusive calls are designed for those of you that really get outside your comfort zone and like those quotes say from, um, gosh, what is his name? I can't think of his name, but he's the author of the 10 times rule. And it says, let the rest do whatever while you do whatever it takes and offer so much to those you work for that they are worried they aren't paying you enough. So with that being said, Success Club, those of us that have actually hit it this month, um, Crystal, me, Jeanette, Kelly, Whitney, and Shantice, I, I hope I say her name right. And then um, the people that are really, 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 really almost there, um, and I put asterisks next to them. <laughs> because they have a lot riding on this too. Um, Noella and Anna Real, um, my two local coaches here in Southern California, they're literally one person away from hitting Success Club it starters for their second month, meaning if they hit it in their third month again, they get a free ticket to Summit in New Orleans. And so if you didn't know that, that if you help three people, at least three people in your first three months as a coach, then you will get a free ticket to Coach Summit in New Orleans next year in 2017 in July. 
Sorry if my sentences aren't making any sense. I have like turbo fried brain right now. <laughs> and then the other people that are almost there, Jamie, Ayana, Keisha, uh, Michelle, uh, Erica, Lynette, and, 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 oh gosh, her, homegirl there. I'm not going to butcher her name. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get to the meat and potatoes. So three days left. This is where it counts, you guys. I, I, I can't stress it enough that I will always share, and I know that your upline and, and all of us, we're a big community. No matter who your upline coach is, we are a family. We are a team, and I feel like there should be no secrets. And so if there's a mentor or something that's working or a video that you watched and it helped you have some aha moments, I mean, I share the things that are working for me and the things that make sense. But, you know, we could listen to the same webinar and you get nothing out of it and I got a ton out of it and vice versa you could listen to something get a ton out of it and I get nothing out of it so you know the person that I'm going to tell you that has really changed the game is Josh Coates he had a live webinar yesterday for finishing 2016 strong and then also in our Google Drive I have given you I'm, I'm breaking like 8,000 rules so if you tell anybody I'm doing this I'm I will shank you <laughs> Um, but I'm giving you all of the art of recruiting videos for free, which was like a training that's normally $200, um, because I think it's just so valuable. And I think that, you know, you guys, like, I'll be real. I burned Shalene Extreme when I first did it <laughs> and I got such great results from it that, you know what I did? I went and actually bought it because I felt really guilty that I got all that information for free and I didn't pay anything for it. So I hope that maybe you will take a look at Josh Coates videos that are in our Google Drive under personal development, under art of recruiting, or the believing in yourself um, videos because there's so much content there. Um, but I watched his webinar yesterday and it just really spoke to me. And um, this, a lot of this information that I'm, I'm taking away from that I'm applying today and that we're going to do some implementation time is... Um, based on his stuff. So if you're like, wow, I've already heard this. Well, I'm sure you've heard the, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember what book it's from, but somebody was talking about how there was like a pastor that kept giving the same sermon like week after week after week after week. And it was a great sermon. People were like, what? Like finally after the fourth time, people were like, um, you know, you're giving the same sermon, right? Like what, like, don't you have a different one? And, you know, his response was, you know, we'll move on to a different subject when you guys actually apply what I'm saying. So um, even if you know all of the stuff that Josh Coates has talked about, we will still talk about it because it's good stuff. Okay. So first and foremost, the thing that I want you to evaluate with yourself is, are you sharing your story? At the very minimum, at the very minimum, you should be sharing your story on Tuesdays and Thursdays for Transformation Tuesday or Throwback Thursday or, or Way Back Wednesday, Flashback Friday. I don't care. Make something up, right? Motivational Monday and Way Back Wednesday, Workout Wednesday. You can get creative with this, but at the very least, you should be sharing your story at least twice a week, at least. And then some of you, um, <laughs> I think of Whitney and I think of Crystal. And I think all, uh, all the ladies that I love because um, I know how it is. It's like when you've lost so much weight and you keep coming across old photos of yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, look, 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 look how, you know, like you just want to keep sharing it. And that has a lot of power too. I honestly, honest to God, I think you can't share your story enough. And for those of you that are freaked out if you're sharing your story too much, um, you're probably not sharing it enough. Like, Let's just cut it back and keep it real and, and let you know that like people aren't just lurking on your social media 24 seven, you know, they're doing other things. And so just because you know how much you post other people don't, you know, and if someone's going to get irritated that you keep sharing your story, then you know what they can do? They can block you. <laughs> they can unfollow you. Um, because you've got people to help and sometimes somebody needs to hear the same thing over and over and over and over again before it clicks and seeing your consistency. I mean, I'm telling you right now, if you're consistent for the rest of this year and you do this at least two times a week for the rest of this year, you guys, 
you're setting yourself up for success. So first and foremost, are you sharing your story? This is what I recommend, a side-by-side -side photo. Please use clear photos if possible. So not like photos taken with, you know, in the dark or blurry photos. Um, you want something visually appealing. You know, I mean, if your before photo is like, you know, that's as good as it's getting, like you only have a couple of them, that's okay. Um, but that's why I say that if you're not at your goals right now, dude, take a lot of photos. Like I know anytime I gain a bunch of weight and I don't want to take before photos, I just have to remind myself <laughs> that when I get fit and I get to my results and I get to my goals, I'm going to be so happy that I took quote unquote fat photos. Um, because you can never take too many angles, too many sides, poses, everything, right? Um, but for those of us that you're already well on your journey um, and you never took photos because you didn't like yourself in photos, then just work with what you got. The app that I really like for this is called PicFrame. Um, I'm an iPhone user, so I think PicFrame may be on Android. I'm just making it up. But that's the app that I like to use for side-by-side -side photos. I will say, for me personally, I'm a visual person. Um, and it just looks more visually appealing when you use side-by-side -side photos with no borders. So not those thick white borders or like you color them in pink or bright yellow. Um, it's just busy. It's distracting. I mean, you guys look at marketing photos from like professional brands like Forever 21 or Vans or um, Target or, you know, like go on their Instagrams or go on their Facebooks and look at their stuff. I guarantee you they are not using big choppy borders. And then the other app that I like um, for just filters um, to make it look, you know, clean and professional and, and if you have Instagram you know starting to develop a filter that you consistently use so you have it's like a magazine you know what I mean like Instagram's like a magazine so if someone clicks on your Instagram profile and they look at it you know the really great uh, brand accounts they have like like the same colors the same kind of theme like you can you can see something trending with it you know for me I have a specific filter and then I will go into the settings and I, I know what like highlights and saturation so that like the filter I use is kind of like a dark blue one so I don't want myself to look like a zombie <laughs> So I turn up the saturation and I turn up the highlights, but you know, I don't want you to spend too much time on it. I mean, when you have some extra time after you've done everything that you should be doing for your power hours, then I recommend playing around and that's your fun time. That's your time where, you know, it's like if you've done everything you needed to do for the day, then it's time to play around on disco or, you know, find another like app like word swag and, and play around with filters and make cute cover photos. But I really don't think that that's like where you should be spending hours and hours and hours of your time. Um, get Visco, go to the main thing, upload your photo, choose like a, a filter. You can, you know, make it go more intense, less intense, and then just be done with it. Um, then for your actual post, so your side by side photos, like don't let, like set a timer for yourself. It shouldn't take you more than like five or 10 minutes. Okay. Then this is your, this is your post. So you're going to tell a story and I encourage you, the more you can share, because we all have different personalities. We do. And there are some of us, <laughs> there are some of us like me, um, where I, I love it. I love getting butt naked on social media. I love telling you things that like you wouldn't think you would know about me. Um, but it's been a process. And I've been someone who's been more comfortable on the internet than most people. Um, in my background, you know, it, it, I've, I've been open on the internet for a very long time. So this is nothing new to me. But if you're somebody that's very private, um, you're somebody that <laughs> Josh Coates calls you a golden retriever. Like you're very, very people based, but you don't like the attention on you. Um, it's going to be hard to crack you open because all you're going to want to say on your transformation is be like, you'll be like, look, I was fat before and now I'm not. Ask me how I can help you. <laughs> right? Like you just give the bare basics. Um, but that's not what speaks to people. I mean, it'll speak to some people, but the people that really follow you and take an interest in you, because they're not buying the products, you guys. They can buy the products anywhere. They can buy them on Amazon, Craigslist, if that's still a thing, um, eBay, 
They could go pirate it. <laughs> like they can get it anywhere. Um, but they're coming to you and they're buying from you because they trust you. And so it is your due diligence to be vulnerable and tell a story because that's how we build trust. I mean, I think of your significant other, think of your best friend, think of your family members. When they tell you something in confidence, when they tell you something that's like from their heart that they don't tell anybody else, how does that make you feel? Like, don't you feel more connected to that person? You know, you want it so, I mean, you don't like, Listen, there are some things you don't share, okay? So it's okay to not share everything, especially things you haven't um, worked out yet. You know what I mean? But sharing your fitness journey so far, you don't have to be at your goal to share your transformation so far. So tell me a story. Who is the person on the left? Which please, if you, if you do a side-by-side -side photo, do your before on the left and do your after on the right. Um, it just, it's just like the way, you know, we read left to right, left to right. So when people do it like right, left, it totally throws me off sometimes. Um, but tell them who the, per who was that person on the left? What was their pain? What was their struggle behind closed doors? What were the, th what was your, oh shit moment? What was your moment where you realized, oh my gosh, things have to change. Maybe you saw a photo of yourself. Maybe you couldn't button your favorite pants. Maybe you were just wearing leggings. You couldn't even wear pants anymore. Uh, maybe you couldn't bend over and tie your shoe. Maybe you went to go pick something off the ground and you couldn't even go and pick it up. Maybe you were sitting down to shave your legs in the shower. Like, I don't, like, get creative, baby. Like, non-scale victories, scale victories, they all matter, right? So once you tell them who you were before, now you're going to describe to them how whatever program you've done so far has helped you. You know, you can be on day 20 or day 15 of your 21-day fix. You're not even done with your first round. You can tell a story, right? Nobody loves to root for you more than those around you. We love to root for people that are going through a transformation. Sometimes those of you that aren't done with your transformation yet, like you're still like 50 pounds overweight or you still have, like you're still the very, very baby, baby beginning of your story. Kind of, you have, in my opinion, leverage over those of us that are already well within our journey. You know, because like you may feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not at my goal, but when people see you and if you're dedicated and you keep going and you keep showing up and they keep seeing the results, I mean, you guys, I say it every single call, but look at Crystal Alexander. If you're not friends with her, be friends with her. Um, she is freaking amazing. And she's somebody that, I mean, I still like, I still just get chills every time I think of her and remembering who she was this time last year. I think she'd only lost like maybe 10 or 15, 20 pounds at this point. You know, now she's well within the fifties, like she's lost 50 pounds. So, you know, share, share whatever, you know, program you've done. It's up to you. This is my personal preference. Um, to not name drop all the time, like occasionally I will say Shakeology and I will say um, 21 Day Fix because I mean, I think they should, they, like it's not a secret, I'm a beach body coach, but the more, you know, the more descriptive you can be about it, like if you're like, I was in a 21 day bikini boot camp, right, instead of saying the 21 Day Fix, people are going to be like, wait, wait, wait you was it a 21 day fix or what, what the king boot camp are you doing right so that like you can you can say the program names but i will tell you that most people lurk and most people will google <laughs> and they will go look at the thing that you're doing and go find it for somewhere cheaper or they'll go buy it off of beachbody.com with the payment plan um so you want to be able to have some intrigue so that they they're you know gonna ask you what you're doing but you know, uh, the next thing that we're going to do, you know, we, you don't have to worry about that too much. So, and then you'll finish it off with saying how, do, how you feel now, how, how do you feel? Not just how you look, not be like, I lost five, five pounds. Cool. Right. Like, tell me how you feel. Were you tired before? Do you have more energy now? You know, were you like taking naps and now you don't have to take any naps or do you just feel so much stronger? You're able to carry all the groceries in without doing two trips. <laughs> You know, be, be creative as you'd like to be. 
and then have a call to action. Comment below for more information, or you can make it seem, you know, like, like you got that. Like people are lighting up at your door. That's why I did the three snaps. <laughs> Um, and you could be like, you know, accepting, you know, three more people into my Octo hot for Halloween October group, you know, message me for details. Um, so this is what we'll do right now. Okay. I, you know, if you have a notebook out or if you have a phone out, I really want you to find the photos that you're going to use. If you've already done your transformation for today, you're cool. Um, what I would encourage you to do now, if you've already done yours for today, is to look for what you're going to do for your throwback Thursday so you can save some time um, for Thursday. So I'm going to set a timer um, for like two minutes. And if you only find a before photo or one after photo, it's cool. But I just want you to like just kind of scroll through your old photos. Maybe you have some on Facebook. Maybe you have some in your camera roll. Um, but figure out what photos you're going to use. Because sometimes that's like the hardest part. Just one before and one after. And like I said, if you've already done yours for today, save yourself some time and do yours for Thursday. You can never have too many before and after pics on deck, I'm just saying. Yeah, Lucy, tell him. Oh man, two minutes went by really fast. Okay. So hopefully you have some ideas, or maybe you just picked a couple photos, or maybe you didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, but let's move on to the next one. So taking the bull by the horns. Um, this is the 10 times rule mindset, right? You, I, we watched the Josh Coates webinar last night and he talked a lot about positive thinking versus a winning mindset. And people get into this trap of thinking positive and like, oh, you know, it's all, it's all in the due time of the higher power, you know, whatever you believe in, God or the universe, you know, like in that, it, it, it just, maybe it was just wasn't meant to be this month or, you know, you rationalize like, oh man, I was really busy and I had this, this and this. And, um, you know, I, you just, you have to be honest with yourself. And, and I hope that you've taken the time to really think, and if you haven't, write this down as homework right now, to take a page out of your journal and just let your thoughts come and think about what you want your life to look like a year from now. A year from now, at the end of September 2017, where, what, what do you want your life to look like? Okay, because if you don't know where you're going and you don't know why you're doing this, 
Anytime there's a hiccup, anytime someone tells you no, anytime you're feeling frustrated, maybe you're feeling frustrated with your own transformation, maybe you're feeling frustrated with the people you're talking to, you're frustrated at life, you're frustrated at me, you're frustrated at everyone, right? And, and you, so, you need something that's going to bring you back, it's going to center you. Because here's the thing about setting goals and getting ambitious and really going after what you want, life has a really interesting way of like, giving you a bunch of shit to deal with once you put it out there. When I decided to go all in with coaching, two weeks later, my husband was fired from his job. I will tell you that your gifts of life are wrapped up in problems. And most of the time, people just see the problem and they're in reaction mode and they don't know, they're just trying to make it. They're just trying to make ends meet and get to the next paycheck, just get to Friday. If I could just get to this next vacation, if we could just get through this season, you know, then, 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 but then you'll find that you'll get to, you'll get to the end of that rainbow. And then there's another, there's another storm, <laughs> you know? So you need to know where you're going. Like I'm making up the statistic, but I'm, I'm sure it's close. Probably 95% of people have no idea where they're going in life. They just have, they have, everyone has dreams and aspirations. Okay. It's not like people are like, uh, I don't want to do anything. Like, you know, if you ask people, oh, if you won the lottery, you know, what would you do? Where would you go? Where would you like to vacation? Or they look at people that have things they want and they go, oh, must be nice, must be lucky. You know, people aren't lucky, you guys. Nobody's lucky. Everyone works their ass off to get what they want. So you have to take the bull by the horns. When people ask me, how many people do I need to talk to to hit Success Club 5 or to help three people get started on a challenge pack? I'm like, dude, whatever it takes. I can't give you a number. There's no magic number. I can give you statistics. I can tell you that, you know, every 10 people you talk to, maybe one person is actually, um, Sorry, I heard a phone <laughs> ringing and I was like, am I going crazy? Um, but, you know, every 10 people that you message, maybe one person will message you back. And then out of those one people that message you back, just because someone's interested in your group doesn't mean that they, they're ready to get down with you. It would be like going to the bar, like a dude going to the bar and asking all the girls if they want to dance, do you want to dance? Hey, do you want to dance? Hey, do you want to dance? Hey, do you want to dance? And like nine of them ignore him. And one says, yeah, it, just because she said, yeah, doesn't mean this girl's going to like go and marry him now, right? So same thing with you inviting to the challenge groups, especially if it's someone you've never talked to. You know, and we get just so hung up. We put all of our eggs in like one basket or maybe 12 baskets, right? Some of you, I know we've had those months, right? Where everyone's like, yeah, I'm going to do it when dot, 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 when it's payday, um, you know, at the end of this week, um, you know, give me till next Saturday, um, you know, I'll buy it a little bit closer. And I will tell you, <sighs> More times than not, those people don't follow through. If someone's not willing to be like, yes, here's my credit card, I'm ready to do this right freaking now, they're probably going to back out. Like, I just expect it. I used to think when someone told me yes and they were going to wait until payday and, you know, get the challenge pack, I was like, yes. Um, but now I'm, you know, I do a little happy dance because I've gotten them that far to the conversation, but I'm not holding my breath. I keep talking to people. I keep forming, I keep inviting, I keep sharing my story, okay? So this is my recommendation, okay? If you're having a hard time hitting Success Club, because I'll be the first to admit, you know, it's not a walk in the park for me. Um, but what I found is using this method, and I've done this off and on, off and on, but I'm, I'm on, baby. I'm on. I'm on one. And I'm committed to getting the results that I said I've always wanted. I'm so sick and tired of saying the same freaking goals and never achieving them. Okay. So hopefully you're feeling like the same way I am, or maybe, you know, it'll take you some time to get fired up. Um, but this is what you can do is that any workout photos, any nutrition photos, any transformation photos that you've posted this week. Okay. Cause if you're like, I don't know who to talk to, who do I talk to? I have no one in the funnel. I have no one that I know to talk to. Then go to the, the post that you've already done. And go look at everybody that's commented. You know, most people just like photos and they don't say anything. Go message those people. Go message those people. 
and say, so, this is just an example, but you know, hey, so-and-so, how are you doing? I just wanted to personally message you and thank you for liking my recent photo of my workout or thank you for liking my recent transformation or, you know, thanks for liking my photo of my burnt kale nachos. <laughs> Your support and positive vibes are, you know, whatever phrase. If you never say positive vibes or, like, light and love or, you know, stuff like that where people are going to know you're, like, full of shit, like, use your own use your own voice, okay? Um, but this is just my voice. So I would say something like, your support and positive vibes mean a lot to me. Listen, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but are you on a health journey, too? Or if you know that they work out and that they take care of themselves, ask them, you know, how, how's your, uh, how are you doing on your health and fitness goals? I see you always, you know, posting your workouts and, and doing your thing. Um, common sense. I'm just going to say, you know, just going to say it to say it. I feel like it shouldn't be said, but if you know someone's a beach body coach, I would not recommend reaching out to them. Um, but you know, creating some type of, you know, you can call it a word track, you could call it a script, but I think the less you can, you have to think of something organically for every single person. Just take out your phone, go in your notes right now, and create a new note, and you are going to make your own little script, and you're going to, you're going to go, hey, and then leave some space so you can include that person's name. Or you can just go, hey, girl. <laughs> That's always a good one. Hey, girl. Make sure it's a girl when you're messaging them. Kelly, <laughs> if Kelly's on here, she's messaged a dude and said, hey, girl. <laughs> and say, how are you doing? Um, I just, I hope you're doing this because I'm typing it too. I just wanted to personally message you and say thank you for liking my recent photo of, or I'm going to say my recent transformation. Your support and positive vibes mean a lot to me since sharing that uh, what would I say sharing that kind of stuff is nerve-wracking or something like that <clears throat> you can make it true to you um and then you say, listen, I always say listen, and then I say friend a lot. Listen, friend. <laughs> listen, I don't know if we've talked about this before, or maybe you know you have, and in that case, you will have to alter it. <laughs> but are you on a health journey too? And so you'll just take that select all copy and you'll go through your posts. You can go on Instagram, you can go on your Facebook and just, you know, you can start it with a, I like to go through my notepad and um, I just go down the list and I just, you know, send a message and then write that person's name down in my notepad so that I can transfer it to my tracker. I'm like a hot mess with my organization. Um, but if you have some type of system that you're tracking names, you have to track names. I wish I had a crazier, deeper voice for that. Um, but I would do it in my Batman voice. You have to track names. Um, because if you don't track names, then how are you going to know who to follow up with? So track those names. You know, for me, I made my own event page for, um, uh, hot for Halloween group I'm gonna start in two weeks I invited a handful of people I'm probably gonna to continue to invite people to it um, but everyone that said that they were interested or that they were going that weren't already the coaches on my team um, I've sent them a message and I, you know some of them are already in my challenge right now so that message was a little bit different than my standard message but I had a I had a one that I copied and pasted and then if I needed to tweak a, a couple things 
you know, I got specific and was just like, Hey, how's, you know, like how's non not smoking been going for you? Cause I had a girlfriend that just quit smoking. Um, you know, I like, we'll ask them how they're doing and then be more specific. That just makes me feel better. Um, because if you were in teens, if you saw my post in teen set it off today, um, I sent one of these generic messages on my Instagram and then the girl, you know, responded back and was like, you know, Oh, you know, thanks for thinking of me. I'm not interested, you know, whatever. <laughs> I wasn't like offering anything. I was just asking her a question. And, uh, and then I, you know, like she basically just like told me no, even though I didn't really like ask anything specific. I just asked her if she was on a health journey or she ever wondered what I did or, you know, I made it less, um, unwarranted, I guess you can say, you know, when you do a cold message, it's kind of like a cold call. Um, and if you lead with just facts like she bombarded me with which I was just like whoa girl hey girl hey like dude I was just trying to be nice and ask you what beauty counter was and she could have told me a little bit about it and then asked me what my experience or what I use for my skincare or you know she could have taken the conversation a gajillion different ways but instead what did she want to do she just wanted to throw a freaking link in my face and like word vomit all over me um which I know her heart was in the right place but like I'm still like very aware when things turn me off and I really hope it turns you off when people do that to you too. Um, because that's a good measure that you're like, okay, I'm not going to do that. Like I'm going to build a relationship. Like I'm going to cut to the chase. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about, not just ask you about your kids and cat for like nine months. Um, but I'm going to cut to the chase, but I'm going to be nice about it. Like, I'm not going to be like, hey, you want to lose some weight? Here's a challenge pack. It's on sale for 140 bucks. It's such a great value. I know it's kind of expensive, but trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Here's my link. Like, ugh, right? Like, gross. So that's just my opinion. So for my newer coaches on here, and even veteran coaches, I hope that you know your process of inviting. Oh my God, sorry. The Shakeology tastes so good. Um, <clears throat> so this is, this is, there's like five steps to inviting. There's the initial invite, okay? So you may ask them, hey, are you on a health journey too? They'll tell you a little bit about what they're doing or they'll say something like, no, gosh, I wish I had the motivation that you did. And then that's when you can, you know, like invite them. Like th the conversation can go a couple different ways. And if there's somebody that's already into health and fitness, you can ask them, hey, have you, you know, that's freaking, that's awesome. You can ask them more questions and make them feel really cool and important because they are. And it's good to know what people do. And then you can go, hey, have you ever considered paying it forward? You know, because anybody that's had a transformation, like I think of Whitney, I think of Kelly, I think of all these people that have done things on their own, right? You've done it on your own and you lost weight on your own. And even one of my newer coaches, Courtney, did this on her own as well. Um, but at the core of it, when you start to feel good, when you start to lose weight, right, you want to pay it forward. So there's nothing wrong with asking people if they've ever considered paying it forward. And they'll, you know, they might not understand what you're trying to say, or they will. And then that way you can take them through the process, this process, because you still want to know what their goals are, because at the core of everything that we do, we have to be on our own journeys. So even if I'm inviting you to be a coach, I still need to know where you're coming from. I still need to know your goals. I still need to know what you've done in the past, what you've liked, what you didn't like, what you're struggling with, what it, you know, like I need to know the full Monty, right? Because that, that's the most important thing. Okay. So you can either go two directions, either a coach or a challenger. Um, and you know, and if you have somebody that used to work out a lot that they, they just fallen off, but they really love fitness on the national wake up call from this week, the girl talked a lot about it, but you know, those are the people that you can from the get invite them to be a coach. Um, you know, it, it never, it, I love the way that Crystal and, and her team are doing it too, where they just don't even give you the option and you got to sign up to be a coach because you are sticking to Shakeology and you are going to get the discount and I'm going to be here with you every step of the way. Like that kind of mentality, right? I'm going to hook you up with this $25 or 25% discount. You're going to be a VIP customer or you're going to be a discount coach or whatever. So whatever style you have, you, you, you do you, boo. 
But step two, this is the most important one. Ask questions. Ask a lot of questions. You can never ask too many questions. Get them on the phone if you can, right? Or if you're in person, ask them in person, you know, or send a voice message if you know that they have the Facebook Messenger, like the app right because most people don't send voice memos and so when you do that do people are like oh you know and they can see that they can hear that genuine and authenticity in your voice but ask a lot of questions figure out okay what are they struggling with you know why are they interested like that's the first thing why are you interested in this like what's piquing your interest and most people will be like I want to lose weight and you're like cool so does everyone else like why is that important to you right now you may want to write that down. I like to ask people, why is, and then I insert their goal, important to you right now? Like, what's beyond the surface of that? Like, and the more you get them to start digging deeper, because this is a lot of rationalization that they've done, okay? Most of us, and I'm sure you can relate, before you joined a challenge or before you became a coach, you rationalize why you were overweight or why you were unhappy with the way that you were or that, you know, you, you were tired all the time or you didn't have time to work out or you didn't have time to work your business, you know, like whatever. You didn't have time for anything. You didn't have any money. Blah, 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 right? You're just rationalizing, rationalizing, rationalizing. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, you know, it's the fall. It's the, it's the cold season. I can just layer up. You know, I'll get fit in the new year. You know, everyone, everyone does a lot of these things to make themselves feel better about where they're at in their life right now. So it's your job to make people feel their pain. And some people may not like you for this, right? But they will appreciate you. And, you know, some people will just give you one word answers and, and just do your best to work with what they're giving you. Um, you know, that's why it's like getting on the phone might be good for those types of people. Um, but ask a lot of questions, you know, get to the, get to the deep root core of why they want to do this and then ask them, you know, what have you done before? What's worked? What hasn't? Um, it was there a specific part of your body that you want to tone or lose weight or what types of workouts do you like? You know, what's your biggest struggle? Is it planning nutrition? Is it grocery shopping? Is it meal prepping? Is it knowing what to do for your workouts? Is it, you know, um, do you, do you take anything for energy right now? Do you drink a lot of coffee? Do you drink any energy drinks? Um, how many times per week do you eat out for lunch or for dinner? Um, what else? Do you take any multivitamins? Do you have a support system at home? Have you done something like this before? These are just all the things that are coming off the cuff that are in our Google Drive. And then in your back office, there are under the training and documents, if you go to the forms, and you go under the um, area that says inviting, there, it, there's like a health assessment questionnaire. There's um, in, our, in our coach page and then also in the back office, there's, the, there's this actual five-step process where they give you some ideas of questions. Play around with it, you know, figure out like, you know, and, and it'll flow naturally, you guys. Like if they start leading you down a path that you're like, oh, I want to ask this question, like let it flow. It doesn't have to be for my black and white people out there <laughs> where you're like, I have to ask this question in this order or, or no questions at all. Um, let it flow. Let it be natural. Just imagine like you're there with them in person and you're, you know, having a cup of coffee or having some kombucha or whatever, <laughs> and you're just with your friend and you're just talking. Then the third step, this is the one that I like to do. This is like, the, I, I used to send them, like I used to word vomit all this information, but now I just use the third party tools, AKA the videos. So any, if you go on YouTube and you search 21 day fix challenge pack, or you search um, 22 minute hardcore challenge pack, or you search Pio challenge pack, or whatever program that you're thinking of for them. Um, I would recommend at least two programs. You know, sometimes three is nice, but I this is these are the videos that I like to send to them. I like to send to them the um, the video about challenge groups, and then um, and then two recommendations. Normally, the first one's twenty one day fix, and then the other one is like something maybe they said in passing. Um, if they like to dance, or they like yoga and Pilates, or they like you know kick ass boot camp type of workouts. Um, are they like weightlifting? You know, then I'll, then I'll give them a second option. Um, but the, if I would you 
is from the book GoPro, Eric Worre. And so you'll, you'll ask them a lot of questions and then you'll, you'll transition it into something like this. And this is in your five step invitation, um, but I've got it memorized because I've done it so many times. But you'll say something along the lines of, listen, you know, I still don't know if, if this is for you or not, but you know, given what we've talked about, it really sounds like it is. Um, and just to be sure that this is something that you want to invest in, um, uh, or I want you to be sure that you can invest in or whatever, whatever verbiage, you know, if I sent you a couple of videos talking more about what our challenge groups are and a couple of programs I think might be great for you, would you have six minutes to watch them? You know, and most people will say, yeah, sure. Don't send them the link yet. Girl, I think there's all ladies on here. I'm going to say girl or dude. <laughs> um, don't just send them the links. Make them tell you a time. Say, oh my gosh, awesome. I'm so glad that you can watch these videos. Um, listen, I know that we're both busy, so let me know within the next 24 hours you think you could watch them so I could follow up with you. Because, you know, when you send videos, don't you think, don't, isn't your first thought like, oh yeah, they're going to watch them right now. They don't. <laughs> so you'll be surprised. Some people will be like, oh, I can watch them, you know, like later tonight. Or they'll be like, oh, I can watch them, you know, tomorrow on during my lunch break. And you make them pick the time. You make them pick the time. Because they're telling you the time and then the ball's in their court. So you can, you can set up a phone call or you can just, you know, follow up in a Facebook message or an email or whatever. And then, you know, you go, okay, great. So, you know, I'll check in with you at the time that they give you. Um, you know, what's a good number to contact you at? Or, um, you know, or if you're just going to check in with them on the messenger, then you don't have to say anything else. And then send them the links. And then I like to also say, okay, you know, here's the video about what our challenge groups are. Here are my couple recommendations. Here's the 21 day fix. This is like the baseline of nutrition and fitness. I always recommend this program to everyone, you know, because it'll teach you how to portion control and it's a, it's the full spectrum of workouts. And then I'll, you know, tell them, Oh, I picked Pio for you as well. Um, because you had mentioned that you loved yoga and, um, you wanted to get stronger and you liked weightlifting. And so this is using your own body weight, whatever, you know, make it personalized to them. Then you're going to follow up and, you know, either you're going to get on the phone with them and, you know, you ask them positive questions. So don't ask them, hey, what did you think? You know, ask them, hey, did you have a chance to watch the videos? And they'll say yes, no, whatever. You'll be like, okay, you know, um, what did you like best about them? Like what really stood out to you? What program looked best to you? High or 21 day fix? Um, you know, does the challenge groups make sense? Have you been a part of something like that before? You know, blah, 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 blah. You know, if they haven't at this point say, said, how much does it cost, right? Then, then you take the lead and say, you know, all right, um, does this look like something you're ready to invest in? Or you can um, steer the conversation something along the lines of like, um, being more aggressive, <laughs> being more assertive. Okay, not aggressive, assertive, where you say something along the lines of, you know, if you don't have any more questions, then, um, then let's get you enrolled as soon as possible because I'm really excited to help you and then repeat their goals and say, I just need your email address. I just need a good email address for you, the flavor of Shakeology that you want to start off with, and then always recommend chocolate always recommend chocolate or vegan chocolate if they have um, a sensitivity to dairy. Those are the two. That's like, you can't go wrong with chocolate unless they had something like, you know, unless you ate chocolate, let me know and then we can figure out a different flavor for you. Um, and then, uh, and then the program that they're going to start off with. And so then I, this is my go-to you guys. I love to send enrollment emails there's a link for you, but you can even, you just go in your Google, either on your desktop or on your phone and just search coach mobile app and it'll pop up. And so you'll, you'll log in, like you're logging into your team Beachbody account. And then this is good because you can put their email in and it'll tell you right then and there if they already have an existing account, which totally saves you so much headache. Cause if you know they already have an account and it's not with you, then you can ask them. 
hey, this already has an existing account. You know, do you have a different email address that we could use? Or, um, you know, it's really simple. I can, you know, we can transfer it over to me as your coach or whatever. I like to do a new email um, because I don't like waiting. <laughs> I'm impatient. <laughs> and I know the longer and longer that it takes them to enroll, um, the less excited there will be. And we, ma we base decisions off our emotions. So the longer and longer and longer we wait and more steps it takes to enroll. Um, you know, some people are going to enroll, but a lot of people, you're trying to capture them. <laughs> you're trying to reel them in while the getting's good. Um, but you can also go in your back online office and there is a coach link generator in there as well. And then I think there's also an app. Um, but you know, once I open this up for discussion, if you have a different way that you like to, um, get people started, I mean, I'm telling you, I don't like to send links, um, because if they have already have an account, then it's just such a headache. Um, not impossible, but a headache. So objections, <clears throat> I'm not going to talk too much time about this, um, but some people have talked about objections. You know, this is the one you hear all the time. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. And then some type of combination of the two, <laughs> right? Um, and what that equates to me is that they're basically telling you, I don't see the value in this. This is not a must for me. This is like a should. And I must go to the movies with my family. I must get my Starbucks twice a week to make me feel better about just like being a zombie through my life. <laughs> you know, it's like the biggest thing. Oh, I took it out of here. I had a bullet point earlier in the Josh Coates week four um, of art of recruiting video. It's three hours long, but the first like hour of it, he talks a lot about these objections. So I highly recommend you check it out. Um, if you're, if you're having a hard time overcoming objections, because um, first and foremost, my babes, you've got to believe that $140 isn't that much money. Like you have to feel that shit in your bones because if you're apologizing for how much Shakeology costs, you ain't getting very far in this business. You have to see the value in what we do. You have to know the value of these products. You have to know the value of you most importantly. You're the bonus. You're the free Beachbody coach, right? And so that, that, that uh, motivational quote from the Success Club slide where it said, you know, I want to give so much value to those that I work with that they will be, they will be feeling bad because they feel like they haven't given me enough money, right? You want to over deliver. The more you can over deliver, right? The better. And so just know that like if this person decides that they are worth it, then I like know in your bones, you're going to take care of this person. You're going to help them. You know, some will, some won't, so what, who's next? That's a good mantra, right? But if you have someone that's checking in with you, that you're checking in with them, like when you check in with them, they check in with you, um, because you're their coach, dude. You're the person. You're the difference between them going to the gym and doing the workouts at home. When you go to the gym, maybe, maybe, if you go to a nice gym, the front desk person will know who you are. Um, but, most of the time, ain't nobody going to give a shit if you did your workout or not, or if you went to the gym five days in a row. Like, nobody cares. You're that person for somebody. You're that person that's their cheerleader. You're the one that, you know, they can come to when they're having a difficult time, and you can give them a pep talk. You can remind them why they're doing this. You know, but I need you to dig deeper. I need you to know the value of you. When you do your posts, when you take your selfies, when you reach out to people, you know, know that you can help them because you can, you know, I, it's like you just have to become that person, right? Become, do, have. It's not have, do, and then become, right? It's not like, okay, if we gave you the five success club points, would you do the actions of someone that earned success club points? Probably not, right? Same reason that if you lost 20 pounds without ever doing a freaking workout and, and eating healthy, right? You wouldn't be someone that embodies health and fitness. 
it isn't about the goal, you guys. It's about who you become in that process. So the more times you hear no and the more times you do things that make you want to like dry heave into a paper bag as you're hitting post on your invite to your next challenge group or your transformation or things that make you uncomfortable or if you do do that script and you send out all those mass messages and they make you feel funny inside. So you're like, what if people don't like me? What if they don't respond? What if this? What if that? What, 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 right? And your mind's just going crazy with fear and the, thi and the, things, and the things that you, things that you can get that much like your fitness journey, your business is exactly the same. When you are in pain, that is not where the growth comes from. The growth comes from after you do these actions, okay? After you do your invites, like it's, it may be, it may or may not be painful. I'm guessing it's painful, okay? Because this is like the sore spot for everybody. If you're not hitting success club, talking to people is your sore point. And so when you're doing that and you're hearing no and you're hearing, I don't have the time, I ain't got the money, people are just ignoring you. Nobody wants this, right? And, you, and if you start repeating that mantra in your head, nobody wants to work with me. I'm not good enough. Nobody has any money. Nobody has any time. Nobody doesn't see the value in this. I'm a really bad coach. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you hear this? Those incantations that you're telling to yourself, that becomes your reality. So I, you know, I... Guys, you already know that I could go on one for like another two hours about this um, because I've listened to so much damn Josh Coates and Tony Robbins that it's just, I, I am just them now. I'm, um, I'm Joey. That's a mix between Josh and Tony. <laughs> um, but anyways, follow up lists and tracking because no just means no, not right now. So that's why ending September strong and talking to as many people as you possibly can. Okay. Cause it should be a non-negotiable to hit success club for, especially for those of you that have hit it before non-negotiable baby is, is go time, whatever it takes you coffee is your best friend. <laughs> like trust me, it is worth it. It is worth it. If you're willing to live like no one else for the next year, you can live like no one else for the rest of your life. Isn't it worth it to work your ass off for two or three or four years and then be able to have a life that you're on the national wake up call and you're the one bursting into tears because you can't even recognize your life anymore. This is the opportunity that is before you. And I understand that if you're listening to me and you're like not on this level of like, of F yeah, of the F yeah train where you're like, ah, you yeah. And you're like, well, I mean, I, you're like rationalizing. Maybe it's not for me. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Right? And it's just so wishy-washy. It's fine. It's fine. We don't love you any less. We really don't. But when you sit down and you do the homework that I asked you to do, if really, like, write the full page, like a day in the life of you in a year, like write down the things you want, but then like, dude, give me a description. Like, like, tell me like you we're, we're waking up tomorrow and it's you a year from now. What, how do you feel? Do you wake up to your beautiful husband and he's got a rock hard six pack <laughs> and a rock hard something else? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> and you smell the ocean breeze and you know, you you see your children and they come running up to you and you look in the mirror and you're just so, you know, you can't even believe the life that you're living and you go into the living room and you cook them a beautiful breakfast and do your workout. <laughs> my husband's home. Um, but anyways, I encourage you to do that activity because it'll make a lot of the things that we do make sense and that this could be a vehicle for that. So just remember the plant cultivate harvest idea where the people that you're talking to are seeds you're planting and every interaction you guys have, every post you do, every post that they like of yours, um, every time you comment on their stuff, every time you ask them how they're doing, that's cultivating a relationship. And then eventually you'll harvest it. Some people take a month, some people take a week, some some people take a day some people take three years like you just don't know when someone's gonna be at that point where they're ready to do it and you're the one that's there so 
Okay, I'm sure I talked for like a gajillion years, so I'm gonna stop the screen share. And then, hi Kelly! Hi! Hey. You guys, I think I've officially graduated to grandma status since the last time we had a video because I'm wearing my contacts and now I need readers to see <laughs> the screen. <laughs> What's that about? I was like over here taking notes going, holding my, I'm really doing that thing right now. <laughs> um, I wrote a few notes down that I wanted to talk about just quickly. I know you've been on a call for a while. Um, some of the things that Jen talked about, um, I would really just say that in my experience and not just for myself, but my new coaches and we all go through journeys and our coaching, just like we do journeys in our life. It's about our life and we are sharing it in the best way we can to help other people. All of the things that Jen talked about, although they may seem very basic, don't overlook those things. Like those practices are what will get you to reach out to other people and for them to connect with you. Um, a couple things I wrote down is I wanted to talk a little bit because it's not some people are overwhelmed with the personal development, Jen. So, you know, we get really fired up. I was in, I was so fortunate to be part of the Josh Coates training and it has completely changed how I'm interacting with people. And it's showing not only in, I wouldn't say sales as much as connections. I'm having deeper connections, more meaningful connections with people. I'm more efficient with my conversations. I'm the girl who will talk to a person about their cat for a year before I will bring up the fact that perhaps I could help with other goals they might have. So it has been very valuable for me. I would just say that a lot of people do not have as much freedom of time as others. So one of the things I would say is pick a personal development, pick a training, pick one of the, like the Tony Robbins that Jen has on our team page, go to the beginning, right? And just pick a time, schedule it just like you would working out nutrition, right? You're scheduling those things. Those are a priority in your life. Schedule that. That is you. That is me time. That is time to grow yourself. It's not even about this business always. It's you're going to grow as a person. Um, and so I would say just remind yourself that if it's 15 minutes in the car, it's 15 minutes in the car. That's better than zero minutes in the car. So don't be intimidated if there's like a six hour training or there's a you know, because some of them are very long, but they're worth it. And as you listen, your brain just keeps growing and you can apply those things right away. You know, it doesn't, it, it's not that it doesn't do any good to listen to it, but it does so much more if you listen to it and apply it. Um, I have a notebook in my car. This is probably not a safe driving tip. And when I am listening to things, I am in traffic often. Okay. So I have it on my steering wheel and I'll just scribble something real quick. You know, I know there's other ways of tracking things, but certainly when I start feeling the wheels turning, even though it's just personal to me, I make notes about it and I'll go back and be like, you know, I got a lot out of that first little whatever video. And so I'll go back because there's probably something there I need to learn or something that is valuable to me. It may or may not apply to Beachbody. If it applies to my, to my life, it will apply to Beachbody, right? Because Beachbody is my life. I'm sharing of me to other people. It's not about the end goal, the challenge packs, my goals. Those things are very important, but it's really about the growth. Like Jen said, it's the journey. It's the journey. So all these top coaches at Summit, if you haven't been to Summit, dear gosh, you need to be put in July on your calendar in New Orleans. Next year is going to be amazing. Um, I personally have a story about Summit that I won't go into, but I did not pay a car payment and I put off my utility bill to buy a plane ticket for Summit. And do I have regrets? Hell no. Like I wish that I would have wasted less energy worrying about all that stuff and just been all in. So if you're gonna put something for yourself on the calendar, put Summit. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to touch on personal development, Jen. And then I wanna just tell a little word track thing I've been doing. One of the things I would encourage people um, to learn about, especially if you're new with experiencing Shakeology, is really educate yourself on your products. There are so many videos. Of course, our experiences matter. So I write down my experiences. I write down others' experiences. So-and-so experienced less sugar cravings than they were pre-diabetic. May not apply to me, but it's important to write down. But I will go to my Team Beachbody, 
and I'll go into back office. If you don't know how to do this, you're going to go to the little blue tab. This is coach. You're going to take the second little choice. This is coach online office or over to the left side, you'll see it. And then you're going to go into news and training and you're going to go shoop, down to videos. And there's a bunch of information. You can also just choose Shakeology and there's going to be bunches of videos and just really research, listen to the science that's behind it. So you actually have some facts to share with people. People want experiences. Obviously people are like, why are you so hyper Kelly? It's awesome that you have energy from Shakeology and I can talk all about the B vitamins, but that may not do any good to them. You know, they may be a person who could use the, you know, the superfoods for other reasons, or there could be other advantages to them. Um, it's actually proven that Shakeology helps people quit habits. Does anybody know that? Why do people quit smoking on Shakeology? Why do people um, stop biting their nails on Shakeology? That's an interesting thing, right? So there's a lot of things to learn about it. Um, so I would definitely say do some, some training when you have a few minutes. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, just 15 minutes. Um, I talk a lot with people about the value of Shakeology. I talk about Jamba Juice because that's personal to me. I know we talk a lot about Starbucks, but I always say, like, if you went to Jamba Juice and it was a drive through and you could get a Shakeology for four bucks every morning for breakfast, it would be an amazing value, right? And you'd be like, that's a better choice than Burger King or skipping breakfast or an energy drink, correct? However, if you knew to get that Jamba Juice, you would have to purchase a coupon card for a month of 120 bucks for 30 of those Jamba Juice. You'd have to get those amazing Shakeology at Jamba Juice, right? That would be like, wow, that's a lot. That's a huge commitment. But I sure as hell would be showing up every day to get my shakes, and I'd be making a commitment to my own health. So sometimes I use those words as an example. So I just want to throw it out there. People are very connected when they start thinking about paying in advance for something that's going to benefit them. What else do they want to talk about? Um, the last six months since I really started coaching more and really thinking about using um, Beachbody as a way to help more people, I have learned a lot about what I have to offer other people. So as far as your why goes, as far as all of this goes, I would encourage you to ask people in your life, what, what are some strengths that I have that you, my phone is going beep, 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 because I made a whole bunch of uh, messages when we were, when I was listening. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, you know, ask people, what, 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 what uh, gifts do I have? What, what do you think that I have that helps other people? Obviously, we need to do some soul searching. You need to have confidence. Fake it. If you don't feel like you have it, fake it anyway. Because you are a freaking rock star. Read, read You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero if you don't feel that way. You know, learn what you have. But I would say to really embrace what Jen said, to say you're a free coach is a huge big deal. You're a life coach. You're a personal trainer to some sort. You're a nutrition coach to some sort. You are someone's support in their family that they don't get. You're their husband, no offense, or wife that doesn't want to give them any kudos for what they're doing. And so, you know, what is it? The um, quote that I just wrote down that I always look at, the, the greatest gift you have to offer is yourself. So I would say spend some time learning about what you have to offer others. And if you don't know what your gifts are, ask people around you. They know what your gifts are. You will be shocked by what they tell you. So I think that's all I wanted to say, except I think, Jen, I don't think that you're Joey like Josh and Tony. I think you're Tosh. <laughs> I think you're like Tony, Josh, Tosh. Tosh, yeah. It's, I don't know. Maybe it's just more. I dig it. Thank you for all of that, Kelly. <laughs> Um, does anybody have anything since we're on here and it's the end of September, there's three more days. Is there anything that is a big struggle that you want more opinions on? Or is there something that is working that you would like to share? Something that I do at the end of the month, which I would like to be doing a little earlier in the month, but whenever I start feeling the end of the month is coming, I have I'm not reached out to as many people as I want is there is 
a feeling of urgency for people. And so you have to remember that you can't, we can be available to people, but you want it to be, it's a perception of value. So I do reach out to people and I say, I have a little script that I say, um, that just, mo I'm just going to paraphrase with you. I just say, Hey, I don't know how everything's been going. I can't believe how quick this month has gone by before we know it, it's going to be October. I didn't want to like let you be left out. Um, I'm going to be, you know, I'd really love to get you in some of my groups in October. Is that something you're still interested in? It's not, how are you? How are the kids? It's very direct. It's a little more, uh, what is it you said? It's a little more assertive, assertive than I would enjoy, but it's also not inviting a conversation. It's just saying, we've talked for ages. You said you didn't have money. You had other objections. You wanted more time. And now I'm just saying, I'm thinking of you and I would, I would still love to help you. Yeah. And, and you know, I would say that for 20 people I reach out to, I'm going to get five conversations. And out of those conversations, there's going to be a couple people, whether it comes to fruition, I'm planting seeds. And people will say to you, not leave me alone. If they say leave me alone, no, good. You did your job. <laughs> well, but mostly what I hear, which I'm always surprised is, thank you so much for asking. Things are better for me now. Or I lost my job. Or this happened. Or whatever in their life, right? People have lives and they don't revolve around our messages. We overthink all of it. Yeah. So I do reach out the last week and just say like, it doesn't hurt to go through all the lists and hopefully you're having a list of the people that you're reaching out to and just say, last call. I, I you know, I'm not, I'm going to yeah. be doing, we don't want to push people away, but I do try to keep it. Um, you want to be kind of selective about your value of yourself. You percept, you know, the perception of value isn't great if they don't have any feeling of urgency or, they don't feel that momentum of excitement because they're not part of something. It's just like when you go to a store, Whitney works at a, oh God, look, I can't, it's like BG, BX, MA, B, BMX. <laughs> Fashion <laughs> stuff. Wait, 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 back up. Whitney, what do you do? <laughs> I'm a, a retail manager at BCBG. BCBG, okay. I know what that store is, but it's that same idea when it's like, last chance sale. Right? Like, I've seen her post about sales, too. Like, hey, you better come in. Like, yeah. So it's the same idea that, you know, I mean, because, like, like, legitimately, we won't know what programs are on sale. I don't know if they were going to be on sale for the next two months or just the rest of this month, all those challenge packs, because that's not normal. No. Um, so I guess we'll see if the, what's going to be on sale in October, like in like a day or two for the diamonds, we'll get the diamond insider and we'll figure it out. Yeah. It's just like you said, Jen. You're, yes. And it's just, you're selling yourself. If they're ready to commit, whether it's 140 or $180, then they are. Yeah. I hate to say it. It's true. And that objection that Josh did where he was like, you know, Oh, I totally get it. Um, but let me ask you this. Like, you know, where, where do you want to be a year from now? Like, you know, are, are the things that you're doing right now going to take you there? And kind of like, jerk a little bit, but like in a loving way. Because <laughs> you're a coach, and that's what coaches do. So anyways, okay, you guys. I'm really tired. I've done like three hours of working out today, which is just one too many for me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get off here. But thank you guys so much for coming on. I hope it was useful. Let's push hard. Even if I know that there's some of us that have already hit Success Club, maybe it ain't over until it's over. I'm trying to <laughs> So have a good one, you guys. Bye. Yeah.